subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell right beside it so that you are up. Oh, fuck. What's up, Cheryl Nicole babes? It's your girl, Cheryl Nicole, and today I'm back with another video. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it so that you are notified every time your girl uploads some content. If you are not new, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and your support. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I just want to make sure that all of you guys are following me on all of my social media, Instagram and Twitter at she Cheryl Nicole, Facebook Cheryl Nicole, and you can now follow my business Instagram page as que at Queening AF. So... As you can tell by the title, I'm just going to be giving you guys a little advice on how to successfully run your business as a small business owner. I just want to help you guys in any way that I can. And yeah, make sure that you have your handy dandy notebook and your pen to jot down these points. <laughs> so let's just get straight into it. So you guys, I just want to tell you some things that I feel like business owners who are already booming aren't just necessarily telling you guys i'm not saying that all of them are not telling you but most of them are only showing you the hundreds of orders the thousands of orders a day and not being real i'm not gonna say they aren't being real but they are not informing you you know about what it's really like having a small business but I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So number one, I wrote down, work hard. That should be the obvious. You have to work hard if you want your business to be successful and you want returning customers and you want new customers from all over the United States to shop your brand. You have to be motivated and you have to be encouraged enough to get up and take care of your business as far as getting your orders out on time promoting your business, creating new ways to draw in new customers, refreshing ideas, all of those type of things. Like you have to wake up with it on your mind. You have to wake up ready to grind, ready to take yourself to the next level because you're the only person who is responsible for your success or your failure. Like you can't complain if you aren't getting any sales or if you aren't doing this, you aren't doing that if you don't promote your business every single day. Me personally, I promote my business all day long on every platform that I have from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I'm always posting. I rarely ever post myself. I'm posting my business every single day because I have goals and I have things that I want to do and I want my business to be successful. So that's number one. So number two, your brand reflects you. Your brand, the reason why I say that your brand reflects you is because you have to put stuff out that reflects your lifestyle, that speaks and tells your life story without anyone ever even having to ask you what type of lifestyle do you live or whatever. Not saying that it's anybody's business, but you want your products and you want your line or whatever that you are doing to be like basically to be a reflection of you. It's just that simple. You put out crap, people are gonna think crap about you. If you put out great stuff, people are gonna think great stuff about you. I'm not necessarily saying that everybody will agree with whatever, because I mean, you know you have that 1% that's just not on board with anything that you do, whether it's uh, great or not. But yes, so make sure when you are doing your website, anything like that, that you guys are you know, represent yourselves, represent yourself well, your business represents you every time that you go out, pop up shops, footwork, getting out of your community, getting out in your city to push your brand and to make your brand known. You want to come correct. You want to make sure that you're on your game and you want to make sure that your business is on its game. So that's kind of why since I've been uploading on YouTube lately, I try to make sure that my appearance is decent i'm just saying because you can't sell anything you can't sell lashes you can't sell lip gloss if you're always looking like a bum people like to buy stuff from people who are nice looking and cute let's be honest if you're cute you're well dressed 
your eyelash is always done something's always done to your hair you're bound to get a customer because they're just like hmm i like her style i want to shop with her i want to support her you just have to keep stuff like that in mind so that's number two and number three is clean social media what i mean when i say clean social media i mean your social media needs to be clean drama free that's number one drama drama free you want it to be uniform different colors not different colors you want to have a color scheme that fits your brand or whatever the colors are in your logo you want that to be shown on your instagram and that's something that i had to learn so i wanted to share that guys i wanted to share that with you guys because it makes your instagram look more appealing if you stick to the same colors as your logo or or whatever colors you decide to base your brand around i just feel like it just look more professional and more cleaner because it's not all over the place everything just looks uniform and in place and neat even though it is just social media it still plays a big part in your brand so clean social media no drama make sure that you keep your so your social media whether it's instagram make sure that you're posting great content don't be posting poo pictures and expect people to like it like it's just not gonna work speaking of that i'm just gonna pull up my instagram because i just basically kind of rebrand rebrand my products and like the pictures and stuff like that because i personally was not satisfied with the pictures that i had officially launched with my website so i'm just gonna drop a few pictures and let you guys see and also guys make sure that you are following me on instagram at queenie af just so you know you can just show your girl some love yeah but as you can see today i'm rocking my bantu knots i'm trying to get the no heat curls because i have been semi putting heat in my hair so yes and also i'm wearing a pair of my lashes get into it get into it one of the five pair of lashes that come in my lashes which are now on sale for ten dollars guys the original price for these lashes are 15 dollars, and they are now 10. i'm gonna put the links to my website in my description box so you can head over and secure yours a lip gloss a t-shirt whatever everything is on sale so why not so since we have got clean social media out the way and my last point is to stay positive you have to stay positive when running a business you have to stay positive even if you're not running a business Every day is not going to be sunshine and rainbows. I don't care how these big brands try to make it seem. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. Like we have our breakdowns. Like you get discouraged, but you can't get discouraged. You can't afford to be discouraged because you're trying to get to the top. And if you're just drowning and what's not happening for your business, you're never going to succeed. You're always going to be sad and it's just going to be pointless it's gonna be like why did you even do it like you know you gotta stay positive you gotta find something you gotta have passion put some passion into what you do because if you don't have no passion sweetheart you don't have nothing nothing at all if you don't have passion you might as well stop it. okay girl so put some passion in it stay positive stay encouraged uplift yourself read that bible drink your water do everything that's necessary to put that good energy into your life so you can make your business prosper whether it's praying every day getting up being in a good mood jotting down notes i'm just saying you gotta find you gotta find ways to stay positive you must stay positive ladies i can't stress it enough you have to remain sane because if you don't you're gonna drive yourself crazy stop checking your website so much i do this so i'm talking to me just because you see people or you see the traffic coming to your website but you aren't getting any sales don't get discouraged you can do this sis you got it we got it you can do it <laughs> But thank you, babes, for tuning in to this video. I just wanted to give you guys some words of advice and words of encouragement. So, you know, keep pushing, keep going, keep going, keep going. 
we're gonna all make it we're gonna all win but before you guys go i want to make sure that you have already hit that subscribe button the notification bell giving this video a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section and i'll see you babes next time